Rocket League Sideswipe is an awesome game, but like myself, many of the players that have come to the game have come from PC gaming, where we've grown accustomed to some of the luxuries not always available elsewhere, and one of the most glaring differences when coming from the Rocket League franchise is the option to play with high refresh rate. For some reason, even though phones have supported 90 and 120 hertz screens for a couple of years now, the game is still capped at 60 FPS. Well, that's until now. With a bit of tinkering, we can play Sideswipe at any frame rate we want, and it's exactly what I'm about to show you today. Go subscribe to Fed, okay? Go subscribe to Fed. Thanks, John, for that clip, by the way. Definitely going to be using that one a fair bit. Now, before we begin, I should clarify that as far as I'm aware, this is only possible on Android devices. So the Apple fanboys among us will unfortunately have to sit out for this one. This does mean that emulator players can do this as well, and that's how I'll be demonstrating it. But the setup is basically the exact same as it would be on Android, since nothing is going on outside of the emulator. As well as this, it's only possible when playing offline for some reason. So sadly, we can only mess around with this in free play and against bots, but I highly recommend you give it a try anyway, because it's so much smoother and nicer. I believe Psyonix is interested in adding support for high refresh rate in the future, but at the moment this is the only way we can achieve it. So the first step is to open up your game and log out of your account. If you don't do this, you'll brick your installation and you have to reinstall the game from the store. With that out of the way, head over to the Play Store and download these two programs, Text Editor and Z Archiver. With them installed, open Z Archiver and follow the path here. Android, Data, RL2D, Files, UE4 Game, RL2D, RL2D again, Saved, Config, Android. From here, click on GameUserSettings.ini and open it with the text editor. From here, you'll see a bunch of interesting little variables, but the two you want to look for are BUseVSync, which you want to set to false, and frame rate limit, which you want to set to whatever your screen's frame rate is. In my case, I have a 144Hz monitor, so here I'll be putting 144. With that done, save changes and head back to your home screen and open the game. Just like that, you'll be playing on high refresh rate. This video is only 60 FPS, so you won't really be able to tell the difference, but it's like going from 60 to 144 in Rocket League. It's absolutely amazing doing it with Sideswipe. When you eventually decide to go back to playing online, you can just log in and it'll overwrite the changes in the file for you. If you want to give it another go, you just need to log out again and change those variables in the file. I'm super excited for if this comes to online, because it's so much nicer playing on the high refresh rate than just 60. Before the video ends, I also want to give a huge thank you to Matro for sharing this with me because he was the one that was tinkering around with the game files looking for stuff like this, so definitely check him out in the description below. He also came first place in the Oceanic 2's championship, so he's far from a stranger from the sideswipe scene. But with that, we've reached the end of the video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers and I'm looking forward to what the future has to hold. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.